Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with MusicTeacher.com and in this video we're going to be checking out how to dial in some Keith Richards style tones using just the Black Star Department 10 dual drive. So all the tones you are hearing in this video are coming directly from the XLR output of the Department 10 dual drive straight into my audio interface. Starting off with a Tokai Telecaster for this video, I'm going to be switching guitars later on as well. This is an open G tuning. So from low to high, we've got D, G, D, G, B, D. This is a very, very important part of the Keith Richards guitar sound. So along with the Telecaster, the Keith Richards guitar sounds other main ingredient is very small, low headroom tweed amps, which are cranked. So we're going to be using the Department 10 dual drive to try and recreate some of those tones. So on top of the pedal, you'll notice I'm actually using the clean channel of the pedal here, but I've got the level all the way up and the gain at two o'clock. Now, because these small tweed style amps are American voiced, I've got the ISF all the way in the American position. I've also added a lot of mid and treble, as you can see here, because when you crank these small tweed style amps, there's a lot of top end and a lot of mid focus there. But I have dropped the bass back because these amps are predominantly much smaller than your regular amps. They usually have eight or 10 inch speakers, which do lack some of the low ends of a 12 inch speaker. So I've removed some of the lows for that purpose. If we head over to cab rig, I'm going to show you the settings that I'm using. So I've gone with a 6L6 power amp for this. Now these style amps usually have six V6 tubes, which are again, very American voiced, very low headroom. The 6L6 is the nearest equivalent that's built into cab rig. The resonance I've kept on three because again, there's not a huge amount of low end from these style amps, but I have pushed the presence up to four. And I've also pushed the amps drive on max because we want that clean channel to break up as we dig in. Cabinet wise, I've gone for a one by 10 classic USA combo. That's the smallest speaker available in cab rig. Keith Richards would have gone between eight inch and 10 inch speakers for these type of tones anyway. They do lack the lows of a 12 inch speaker, but you get that nice mid focus and bite. Microphone wise, I've kept it pretty safe. I've gone with the 67 condenser. This is a pretty standard microphone that you're gonna find in most major recording studios. I'm using a medium room for this in mono. We don't really need to worry about stereo for this because those old Rolling Stones records were mostly recorded in mono. So we're used to hearing the room sound in mono in those setups anyway. And it is mixed quite low just for a little bit of ambience. But then I've also cut some lows out of the master EQ. So I've actually dropped nearly two decibels of lows here and a little bit of low mid. I have bumped up the high mid and the high again, just to kind of accentuate that upper end bite and that mid focus got a low cut at 171 hertz and a high cut at 11.65 kilohertz. This tone is not modeled after any specific Keith Richards or Rolling Stones track. It's a little bit of a catch all tone that will just get you in that Keith Richards ballpark. This tone is very, very versatile and responsive. So how you play and what guitars you play will give you slightly different feels and slightly different sounds without needing to do too much adjustment. So now I'm going to show you some of the variation you can get from this tone by just altering what you play and how you set your guitar. So I'm going to start off with the bridge pickup selected with everything on 10, the volume and the tone of the guitar, both on 10. This gets you into that snappy, crunchy, brown sugar style sound. <laughs> This tone is very, very responsive to how you set your guitar. So I've got a capo on the fourth fret now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set my tone control about halfway back just to take some of the top end off. I'm going to bring my volume back to about eight. This is going to clean up the tone quite a lot and get me in the ballpark of tracks like Jumping Jack Flash. <laughs> Thank you. 
It also cleans up nicely if we go to the neck pickup now and bring the volume down a little bit more to about five or six, we get in the ballpark of bluesier tracks like Tumbling Dice. Keith Richards was also known for playing a double cut Les Paul Jr. style guitar amongst other guitars in his arsenal. This guitar has a single P90 pickup with a little bit more bite than a Telecaster. So I've got a capo on the seventh fret here. This guitar is going to hit the front end of the pedal a little bit harder, give me a little bit more gain. This is great for tracks like Midnight Rambler. <laughs> So there you go, there are some Keith Richards style guitar tones using just the Department 10 dual drive. If you want access to this patch, you can click the link in the description and download the patch yourself and use it in your own Department 10 pedals, pairing that with the settings I've shown you in this video. If there are any other artists you'd like to see us make these videos about and recreate the tones using just the Department 10 dual drive and cab rig, throw their names down below in the comments as well. Don't forget to check out Black Star Amplification on YouTube for many more videos just like this one. And if you're looking for a music teacher in your local area, please head over to musicteacher.com. There's a network of great teachers all around the country waiting to help you guys out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.